Hi, my name is Aaron. I'm a software engineer here at TempoDB, the uh, Time Series Database as a Service company. And today we're going to talk about rollups in TempoDB. But uh, before we jump into it, one thing that we want to get through is some of the fundamental concepts in TempoDB, namely series. In a TempoDB, a series is just a stream of key value pairs where the key is a timestamp and the value is some numerical value representing, uh, say, temperature at that time. And this stream of data points can continue on as far into the future as it goes. And rollups are one way to analyze this. So this stream of data, for instance, is sampled at a minute rate. We get one reading every minute. But we might like to be able to analyze this data on a daily resolution, on a uh, you know, five minute resolution, getting the averages, the mins, and the maxes. That's what you can use rollups to do. It allows you to control the period of analysis for your data. So we're going to step through an example of how that works. Uh, walk through the kinds of values and things you're going to get out of that, and just draw a little bit of a graph to show you visually what's going on. So rollups take three parameters, uh, range, period, and fold. The range is just the start and end time of the data points you want to query. So in this example, we've got a start time of 12 and an end time of 12, 10. Um, written up here on the board, so that's what we're going to go with. Period is the buckets that you want to analyze. Uh, since we've got about 10 minutes here, we're going to divide it in half. We're going to analyze our data into five minute buckets. So we should end up with two values out of this stream of uh, 11 points. Then for full, this is the analysis function you want to run. Uh, average, min, max, count, some examples of uh, analysis functions we provide. Uh, there's, I think, a lot of them. <laughs> but we'll start with average for now. So. Um, when you make this query into TempoDB and it rolls up the data, you're going to get your data in five minute buckets. And you'll start at 12 and go to 12.04 in the first five minute bucket. Then from 12.05 to 12.09, because rollups are exclusive of the end time. So we should see back two points from the API then, one at 12 and one at 12.05. And the difference between these start points matches the period that you asked for in the original call. So we're going to do folds, or we're going to do averages. So the average of this first five minute bucket is 16.6. And the average of the second five minute bucket is 24.6. So you, know, you could take it to your uh, chart here. You could plot those points. And you should see two points, or one point for every five minutes of the chart. Um, and that gives, allows you to have this nice regular period as you graph your data. Um, now, one other really cool thing that TempoDB allows is you can do multiple analysis functions in one API call. So let's say we were doing a more comprehensive chart, and we wanted not just the average, but say the five-minute mins and max values of every uh, or, you know, of this time series. So all the uh, TempoDB API will give you back is uh, two extra columns in your return for the min and the max. And you'll get whatever those values are. It should be 2 and 41, 5 and 49. And likewise, you could plot those next to each other on your chart, get this nice compound line graph, uh, however that would end up looking. So that's rollups in TempoDB. Uh, this is a pretty high-level overview. We have documentation available online. You feel free to get in touch with us directly. My name is Aaron. I'm a software engineer. And thank you.